Hi everyone, it's Daniel here. Today I'll be reviewing Level 42, the Pursuit of Accidents album released in 1982. Here's the front cover. Uh, we've got a rainbow here, we've got a drain. Uh, we've got a um, smash bowl. I'm assuming someone's been on a night out. Might have been a bit of myself, but yeah. Uh, we've got the Level 42 um, logo up here with the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And the name of the album, of course. Very nice, very nice album cover. I love it. So yeah, this is the front. Um, this album, I'll class it as the official second studio album. The early tapes are more of a compilation album of like their early stuff from July to August of 1980. But yeah, this is definitely... Um, this is definitely the, their second album, so yeah. Uh, got a very similar sound to the first album, which I really like. And, yeah, here's the spine, pure purple, and the back, which uh, is covered in purple purple text, which is nice. Uh, what's it? Uh, we've got a photo of the band here. We've got um, Bill Gould, Mark Lindop, Bill Gould, and Mark King. Um, I'm assuming they're in the drain. They're in the sewers, and I don't know what that light's supposed to be, but yeah, it's a good album cover, I like it, and yeah. Love this band so much. Anyhow, we've got um, eight tracks on this album, two sides, and uh, yeah, I will read you them all one by one. So we have side one, uh, we've got an opening track, which um, oddly enough, um, Hark Lindup sings this um, track. Yeah, he sings the vocals on. Um, um, What's it? This track, Weedy Spell. Yeah. Yeah, it sings lead vocals and um, yeah. Yeah, it's a great way to start the album. Instead of Mark Kim, we got Mike Lindup singing lead vocals. So yeah, this is a really good song. Got a sort of disco feel to it, but it still has that jazz fusion sound to it. Got a nice um, repetitive bass line, nice, nice drum beat. Some great synths in it as well. And um, yeah, I just think Mike Lindup is a very clever keyboardist and vocalist. This is definitely one of the best songs of all time. It's a shame they haven't performed it in over 40 years, I know. Maybe someday. Anyhow, uh, we've got the next track, which is Pursuit of Accidents, uh, the first instrumental on the band, one out of two. Yeah, probably my favorite instrumental on the album. Really nice. Um, it's got a nice synth brass sound to it. Uh, really nice um, funky guitar riff. Um, I love the kick drum at the start, and yeah, and a few bass pops as well. You can actually hear Mark King at the start, like, yeah, just like yelling, and then um, same with Weavy Spell as well. You can hear like Mark King in the background for some reason, I don't know why. But anyhow, uh, the bass line at the end is really, really over the top, but really nice, and yeah, I just think it's a great instrumental. Uh, it builds up, and um, you know, really good track. Um, next track, we have uh, Last Chance, definitely. Um, Definitely an underrated gem on this album. Um, Weavy spelled that um, hit the charts, but that's probably the underrated um, hit on this album. But Last Chance is also highly underrated. Most of the tracks on this album are underrated and not very well known, but personally, I love them. Last Chance, great song. Um, Mark King sings lead vocals. However, Mark Lindup sings lead during the choruses and the bridge section. There's a nice synth solo in it as well, which um, I believe it was played on the Roland Jupiter 4. And uh, yeah, it reminds me quite a bit of the Pointer Sisters Automatic. Um, that song came out after this um, album was released, but influence maybe, I'm not sure. But it's a great song, some great lyrics and um, some great electric um, piano parts in it. I just love that song. And to end off side one, we have Are You Hearing What I Hear, which great track absolutely fun crazy i this album is just pure fun that song is amazing uh mark king sings gibberish at some point which is absolutely great uh on the single versions and the um the um extended version as well um there's a banjo soda which i believe was played by boom here um on this album version uh, you get an electric piano solo i think it's a great song some great piano bits it's got a clavinet in it as well I just think it's a mate, an amazing track and the production is just fantastic. So yeah, side one's great, love side one, but side two has some really good songs as well. So we've got um, 
car blame Lewis, which, um, yeah, that's a great track, really nice bass line, great bass intro, uh, some great vocals from Mark and Mike. I love how it sounds pretty much like, um, like a mix of Love Games and Star Child off the first album. I just love that song. I feel like it was written about Lewis Johnson, but I'm not sure, but still a great song, very catchy. Uh, definitely one of my favourite tracks on the album. Anyhow, next track we have Eyes Water Falling, also known as The uh, Prodigy. Written by all four members of the band. A very great track. Reminds you of being in a waterfall, to be fair. Got a nice slap bass line. Got some really nice chord changes. Very nice bridge section. And it's very danceable, you yeah. know. However, this song was the most closest to being a ballad, but it's not a ballad. But, yeah, it starts off with Let Me Out to Play, and yeah. Characters eager to go out and play, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, next track, we have an instrumental written by Mark King, all on his own. Uh, Shapeshifter, um, basically, um, yeah, basically, Shapeshifter is an instrumental. Uh, starts off with like this organ intro, a bit like The Who sort of thing, but um, smashing, I love it. Uh, kind of reminds you of like a start of a film or something, and then uh, it gets funkier and gives you like June Tune vibes from the first album, which, yeah. Basically, this is a Dune Team Part 2 sort of thing with the Pursuit of Accident sound with some crazy guitar bits. And um, yeah, it's quite slow, quite, you know, funky, but it does build up in like, yeah, I do like that a lot. But to end off the album, we have um, probably the most well-known song on this album, The Chinese Way, which that is a brilliant song, love it. Great bass line, it's got like a chorus effect on it. Um, some great vocals from both Mark and Mike, uh, some nice key changes, really nice bridge sections, and I just think it's, ama it's an amazing song. Uh, the lyrics are great, I, I was addicted to this song at some point, I should love this song. If you haven't listened to it, definitely check it out, it's definitely the best song in the album. However, Weave Your Spell and Are You Hear My Hear not far behind, and you can't blame Lewis. I love Last Chance and I Was Waterfall and they're also really good tracks as well but the definitely the Chinese way steals the whole album for me and I just think it's an amazing song. Uh, very different from Level 42's other um, music like other like their other stuff. Yeah definitely different sort of music. Still got that um, funk sound to it but yeah I just think it's amazing. So Overall, the tracks are amazing. Love them. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's read the personnel. Uh, we've got Mark King on vocals, bass guitar, keyboard additions. Didn't know he could play keyboards. And uh, percussion. Uh, yeah, we had like four percussionists on the last album. I know. Leroy Will Williams, he doesn't perform this album, but he will continue to tour with them. So, yeah. We've got Mike Lindup on vocals, Prophet 5, Mini Moog, acoustic and electric pianos, and percussion. Nice. And then we have Phil Gould, which, yeah, he's just called Phil Gould on this album. That's Phil Gould. Uh, he plays drums, percussion, uh, he's the rolling rhythm composer, and he sings backing vocals as well, which is nice. Uh, we've got Boone Gould on guitars. And, uh, yeah, that's the main personnel. And then we've got a special guest, um, Wally Badru on Prophet 5, and Salina String Assemble, basically a string synthesizer, courtesy of Island Records. We've also got two other guests, the two, the two Pete's. Pete Wingfield on clavinet, uh, which he plays the clavinet on the song I Hear What I Hear, which, yeah. There's so many keyboardists on this album, it's like five. Pretty much all the members of Level 42 can sort of play keyboards, you know. And then uh, we have Pete Jacobson on Roland Jupiter 4. He plays the keyboard solo on the song Last Chance, yeah. The one that said sounded like automatic by the Pointer Sisters. The synth solo in that song, so yeah. All arrangements were done by Level 42, except for Shapeshifter, which um, that was arranged by Mark and Phil. Uh, recorded at um, Eden Battery, Vineyard, Basin Street, Chip at Norton, Red Bus, and Mason Ridge Studios. Uh, that's French, by the way. <laughs> Mixed at Red Bus, Mason Ridge, and Livingston, Livingston Studios. Uh, the engineer was Joe Boys. Last Chance and I You Hear What I Hear were both recorded by Dick Plant. The Riven Trap to the Pursuit of Accents was, was recorded by 
Nick Larne. I think that's who pronounced his name. Additional engineering by Dave Bascom and Gordon Milne. All mixes done by Joe Boyce. Produced by Mike Vernon for Handle Artists. And the photography was done by Jay Merdle. And the sleeve was done by uh, Alwyn Clayton and Bruce Gill. There's a little thank you message at the bottom, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's an amazing album. And uh, great production team. Anyhow, uh, here's the sleeve. Got the popular character icon again. And then we've got lyrics at the back. Now, of course, Pursuit of Accidents and Shapeshifter on here, but we've got Weeby Spell, Last Chance, I Him Right Here, Can't Blame Lewis, Last Water Falling, The Prodigy, and The Chinese Way. And if you've noticed already, Phil Gould has done like most of the words for these songs. The other members just contribute. There's side one, and there's side two. Very nice album, I personally love this album. Yeah, it's definitely in my top five favourite level 42 albums. I uh, got this on vinyl for Christmas and I just love this album. I love this band. I love just everything about like classic level 42. If I can actually get the <laughs> the record, like the, if I can actually get the record back in its sleeve, that would be nice. Uh, you got to be careful, by the way, because yeah, records are very, um, yeah, records are very delicate and yeah. But, yeah, I've got it in. Safe though, so, yeah. Safe and sound in here. And, um, yeah, very careful with my record, so you should be too. Anyways, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been my review of Level 42's Pursuit of Accents album, released in 1982. Uh, let me know if you like this album, dislike it, or find it a bit near. Personally, I love this album. This album is definitely one of the best albums they've ever done. And I could just listen to it forever, to be fair. However, I think later on, Level 42 would do slightly better stuff, but yeah. Anyhow, thanks once again, take care, take it easy, and peace. In a bit all, bye.